Welcome to Solo Una Noche. Pull on your mask and slap on your spandex in this luchador wrestling game for two to four players. Choose one of four wrestlers and live their story as you battle through 1v1, tag team, and melee modes to become the king of the ring. Featuring simple math and intuitive card play, Solo Una Noche plays in less than 10 minutes per player and is great fun for everyone ages 9 and up. Let's step into the ring and learn how to play Solo Una Noche. So let's take a look at Solo Una Noche's components and setup. For components, each player will have their own player aid and their own deck of cards that they'll be able to play from. Also, each player has a, uh, a standee that they'll place on the board. There's a crowd support token, and then the other player has the same setup. And then the board is the ring that you play in, and it has a countdown from 40 to knockout. Each player aid is broken down into three sections. It has the what you're going to do on your turn section. It has the this is my special moves and what I can do section. And the special unlockable with crowd support token section. Now let's take a look at the cards. The cards have a couple things you got to watch out for. So the first thing is going to be the type of card it is, whether it's a move, a respond, a multiply, a modify card. This is going to tell you what you can do with that card. Can I, can, I can use it to make moves against the other guys. I can use it to modify an existing card. I can use it to respond. Anything you're going to do from your hand, that's what it's going to do to tell you. The next thing you got to look out for is does it have an icon? Some of the move cards have icons on them that are going to let you use your combo moves when you can play three of them at once, that's going to unlock your Los Pedros de Burro in Voz Alta. And that's going to do 15 damage, and it can't be blocked. The next thing, and one of the most important things we got, is how much it costs to play from your hand, and the damage it's going to do to the other guy when you play it. Lastly, we've got the kind of the name of the card that it's going to play. So let's take a look at what a sample turn will look like. So, on my turn, I'm going to play a drop kick, and then a spinning hammer fist from the top ropes. What that's going to do is that's going to cost me 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 5 is 10 points in strength. That's exactly as much as I need. And then that's going to do 3 plus 2 is 7, times 2 is 14 damage, potentially, to the other guy. At this point, my opponent has the opportunity to respond if they can. They're going to play a block card. Each of the respond cards does something a little bit different, so you got to make sure and watch the text. This one is going to block the weakest attack, and so in that case, that's this drop kick right here. So what that's going to do is that's going to block this one, and that I'm, going to hit, I'm going to get hit with one damage there, but I'm still going to do four times two is eight damage to my opponent. So I take my one and then my opponent is going to take his 8 damage, and then now it's going to be their turn. Play is going to continue like this, each of us taking our turn, he does damage, I have the, uh, the opportunity to respond, back and forth, back and forth, until we get down to 20 or less. As soon as the, your opponent is down at 20 or less, what you have the opportunity to do is you're going to take your pin and submit cards, and you're going to put them and shuffle them together in with your draw pile. So the way that pins and submits work is you're going to attack just like you were before. I'm going to do a suplex and then a slap. And then because I have one, I'm going to throw a pin attempt on there also. My opponent has the opportunity to respond to the pin attempt if they can. If they can res respond to the pin attempt, that gets them out of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to save it to my player aid. The third pin automatically succeeds. If this happens, they're going to keep going and then now it's their turn. If your opponent can't respond to the pins or submits, both cards have a unique struggle mechanic built into them. Make sure you read them and see what they do. If your opponent cannot respond or struggle out of the pin or submission attempt, or you're able to wear them down to no remaining health points left, congratulations. You just won your first game of Solo Una Noche. Two player matches of Solo Una Noche usually take about 10 to 15 minutes. We included 12 bonus cards that you're able to add into your deck two at a time at the end of each game to customize your deck and make it unique to you. Shuffle up and deal again. In addition to the 1v1 that I just showed you, we also have a tag team mode where you and a partner team up, share your hands, work together, and try to pin, submit, or knock out another team of wrestlers. And finally, we have a no holds barred, last man standing wins melee match. You take out all the pins, all the submits, put in all the bonus cards, and go at each other for about a half an hour. Last man standing wins. Thank you so much for your time learning how to play Solo Una Noche. And remember, settle it in the ring.